United Launch Alliance's ULA Vulcan Centaur rocket is nearing completion after four frustrating years of delays. Meanwhile, more than two dozen critical national security missions remain stranded, causing significant discontent among military officials. Once the undisputed leader in national security launches, ULA is now facing a critical juncture. At the same time, SpaceX is taking center stage with an impressive 88 Falcon 9 launches and counting. Elon Musk's aerospace company has quickly become a major Pentagon partner, raising questions about whether we are witnessing a shift from traditional defense contractors to a booming commercial space sector. Is the U.S. military moving away from established aerospace giants and making significant investments in private industry? Let's dive deeper on today's episode of NR Studio. For years, ULA has relied on its two main rockets, the Atlas V and the Delta. These vehicles have reliably carried everything from national security satellites to interplanetary missions. But significant challenges have emerged with the Atlas V, which relies on Russian-made RD-180 engines. Following heightened geopolitical tensions with Russia in 2014, the U.S. government recognized the dangers of relying on Russian engines for sensitive national security launches. In late 2022, Congress imposed a ban on military launches using the RD-180, forcing ULA to make the switch. Enter Vulcan Centaur, ULA's solution to achieving self-sufficiency, driving innovation, and remaining competitive. The new rocket is equipped with a state-of-the-art BE engine, manufactured domestically by Blue Origin and fueled by liquid methane. This is important. Methane offers cleaner combustion and greater efficiency, paving the way for future reusable rocket technology. But the advancements don't stop with the engine. Vulcan Centaur aims to cut launch costs by 50% compared to the Atlas V. This cost reduction is important as ULA seeks to compete with companies like SpaceX, which have fundamentally changed the industry with reusable rockets and competitive pricing strategies. Additionally, Vulcan Centaur's Centaur upper stage is not just a booster. ULA envisions it as a potential space interceptor capable of defending U.S. satellites from threats in orbit. Imagine a rocket stage that can maneuver and protect, ensuring the security of our space assets, a significant evolution in space defense. In short, the Vulcan Centaur is not just a successor. It is an innovative American rocket that represents a monumental improvement over its predecessor. With improved performance, lower cost, and strategic defense capabilities, it has the potential to revolutionize the national security landscape in space. SpaceX dominance in space exploration is becoming increasingly evident, especially with the concept of a space interceptor designed to protect satellites, an idea that seems straight out of a science fiction novel but is quickly evolving into a reality. While the new Vulcan rocket has great potential, the pressing question is, when will it finally show its capabilities in a real-world mission? This question is not just on the minds of enthusiasts, but also on the minds of the U.S. military. The military has invested more than a billion dollars in development contracts for the Vulcan rocket and its engines through United Launch Alliance, our ULA. Major General Stephen G. Puri, acting Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Space Acquisition and Integration, recently expressed his concerns about the Vulcan program in a written statement to the House Armed Services Committee's Strategic Forces Subcommittee. He noted that the ULA Vulcan program has been underperforming over the past year, noting that significant issues have overshadowed its successful certification, leading to delays in the launch of four national security missions. After years of anticipation and setbacks, the Vulcan rocket successfully made its maiden flight on January 8, 2024, during a mission dubbed Certification 1. This was the first of two launches required to certify the rocket for National Security Space Launch, NSSL, operations. However, the second launch, Certification 2, which took place in October 202, was plagued by complications. Although the rocket reached orbit, one of Northrop Grumman's two solid rocket boosters suffered a failure that damaged its nozzle shortly after liftoff. The failure delayed critical separation and other post-launch events by up to 30 seconds, complicating the certification process. A thorough investigation traced the problem back to a manufacturing defect in a component inside the nozzle isolator. In response, United Launch Alliance implemented corrective measures, including a comprehensive static fire test to determine the effectiveness of the fix. However, the Space Force's evaluation of the certification data has dragged on, extending into early 2025. 
As a result, at least four Vulcan launches originally scheduled for 2024 have been delayed until 2025 or later. The delays include the first major national security mission, USSF-106, which is now not expected to launch before July 2025. General Peary also pointed to significant challenges. While the reliable Atlas and Delta rockets have been retired, the transition to the Vulcan rocket has faced numerous hurdles, delaying critical Space Force missions. The ongoing problems with Vulcan reflect a complex mix of technical difficulties and manufacturing challenges that continue to hamper its progress. Supply chain issues and challenges have plagued the development of ULA's Vulcan rocket program. A significant incident occurred last October when a solid rocket booster failed. But even before that, a hydrogen leak caused a structural crack in the Centaur upper stage tank during testing caused by a flaw in laser welding. The setback required a redesign and delayed the rocket's schedule. Perhaps the most substantial issue stems from complications surrounding the rocket's engines. The Vulcan main stage is powered by a BE methane engine manufactured by Blue Origin. Those who have been following this story may remember the famous, where's my engine, Jeff, meme. The phrase isn't just funny. Blue Origin has faced major challenges delivering the engines, resulting in significant delays to the Vulcan's maiden flight, as well as its certification process. As a result, ULA has even been financially penalized by the Pentagon for these missed deadlines. The engine issues have largely been rooted in technical difficulties, particularly with the turbo pumps. These issues have persisted for years, causing engine delivery to fall far behind schedule. Blue Origin had originally planned to launch its own new Glenn rocket, which also uses BE engines in 2021. This schedule was pushed back to late 2022. Instead, the Vulcan Centaur became the first platform to use BE engines. In mid-2020, ULA CEO Tori Bruno publicly acknowledged the turbo pump challenges that were hampering production. While the first test engine was delivered in July 2020, fully flight-ready engines did not materialize until late 2022 and early 2023. The program suffered another setback in June 2023 when a BE engine exploded during testing, destroying the test stand and further delaying progress. Despite concerns about BE reliability following this incident, the Vulcan Centaur's first flight eventually occurred in January 2024 without any issues. However, complications continued as Blue Origin also needed BE engines for its new Glenn rocket, which requires seven engines per launch. This caused the company to temporarily halt deliveries to ULA in order to focus on ramping up New Glenn production. Fortunately, ULA Bruno later confirmed that all 2024 BE deliveries had been completed before Blue Origin shifted its focus and engine deliveries to ULA had resumed. The broader context reveals that ULA's heavy reliance on external suppliers, particularly for critical components such as engines, has severely limited its ability to manage production schedules and quality. This reliance continues to hamper the Vulcan program, and things are only getting worse for ULA as new challenges mount. The company currently faces a growing backlog, with more than two dozen national security missions stalled due to these delays, putting significant pressure on its operations. In what has traditionally been a strong collaboration between United Launch Alliance, ULA, and the U.S. military, an unprecedented shift has recently occurred. The U.S. military announced that SpaceX will now manage the majority of its upcoming national security launches, effectively marking the decline of ULA's dominance in the launch sector, a position it has held for more than two decades. Under the Phase 3 Lane 2 Launch Services contract, SpaceX has secured seven missions worth about $845 million, while ULA finds itself with just two missions worth $427 million. The transition represents a dramatic fall from grace for a company once hailed as the nation's most reliable launch provider. While the shift poses challenges for ULA, it represents a major win for the commercial space industry, and SpaceX in particular. The seismic shift highlights the remarkable progress made in private spaceflight, with SpaceX now at the forefront of a new era of government and defense-related space missions. So what's the secret to SpaceX success? The answer lies in its Falcon 9 rocket, which has revolutionized the frequency of space launches in recent years, where launches previously occurred only a handful of times a year. The Falcon 9 has surpassed all expectations. In 2022, the rocket completed an impressive 60 missions, more than any other rocket in a single year, 
surpassing the Soviet Soyuz's old record of seven launches set in 1979. In 2023, the Falcon 9 completed 96 launches, and in its record-breaking 2024 missions, it completed a staggering 134, with 133 of them successful. This performance accounted for more than half of all global orbital launches that year. To put this achievement into perspective, in 2024, the Falcon 9 launched twice as often as the Soyuz at its peak and at a rate more than 10 times higher than NASA target during the space shuttle program. As of May 2025, SpaceX had completed 488 Falcon 9 launches, making it the most frequently flown U.S. orbital rocket in history. What accounts for this incredible launch frequency? The answer lies in the reusability of the Falcon 9 first stage. SpaceX didn't just make rocket reusability possible, they revolutionized it. They transformed what was once considered a disposable component into one that can be recovered, refurbished, and relaunched within days or even weeks. This efficient, repeatable, and scalable process has significantly reduced the cost of reaching orbit. There's no longer a need to build a new rocket for every mission, making space much more accessible. As a result, more countries and private companies are now able to send their payloads into space. Ambitious projects such as large satellite constellations that were once seen as mere aspirations are now becoming concrete realities. In essence, the barrier to entry to space has never been lower. The Falcon 9 has been a true pioneer in the launch market. Much of its mission is dedicated to expanding SpaceX Starlink satellite network, ensuring a consistent launch schedule. In addition, it serves as a workhorse for NASA commercial programs, ferrying astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station. Beyond these missions, the Falcon 9 supports the U.S. military, including agencies like the National Reconnaissance Office and the Space Force, handling a variety of commercial payloads ranging from Earth observation satellites to satellite spacecraft. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode, and thank you all for your support.